Okay, let's uh, start again. Seems like all we've been doing the past couple of days is, is installing firmware on the uh, DJI Air 3 and checking it out. So uh, we, we posted a video the other day of an upgrade and uh, not sure what version we started at or even what we ended up at because we subsequently did yet another firmware installation. So uh, now we've gone from that to what we think is version... Uh, 115. Let's uh, double check that. We'll go to about. And sure enough, 1.001500. 1. Um, the app version is 1.15. And the RC firmware is at 4.01000. Uh, this is all the uh, new additions to the firmware to support the uh, DJI Air 3S, but we're flying the old DJI Air 3. So, uh, the one thing we really want to try out is the new uh, uh, replacement for um, subject scanning, and that's the uh, focus track, which is the button or the dot over on the left hand side. So, uh, we'll give that a shot. Let's uh, start our 4K recording, and we've already been to uh, uh, the uh, drone uh, drone weather app and the air control app, and everything looks good as far as weather and as far as uh, traffic in the space. So let's see if we can get in the air here. We can find the takeoff. It's a little bright out here. I'm going to have to walk over to where it's not so sunny. I got my shadow over the screen, but uh, maybe I'll get some help from a tree here. <clears throat> well, this is a little better. And uh, let's hit the uh, takeoff button. And we've got a stable hover. We'll spin it around and, well, yeah, let's spin it around here to make sure that uh, everything is cool in that regard. That's to the left and back to the right. And let's take it up a bit. And we're up to 120 feet or so now. 116. Let's tilt down and uh, give the gimbal a chance to settle out and level. And let's turn on focus track and see what we get. Well, we got nothing because we must have missed the dot. There we go. Focus track enabled. Tap or draw a box around the subject. Okay. I don't see any uh, subjects illuminated. Well, this is very interesting. Okay, it's following that car. That's in spotlight mode, so it's not actually following it. It's 
So let's stop it. And let's bring it back here, see if we can catch another car like that, and this time we'll put it in actual follow mode. We're at 110 feet because we dropped down a little bit. Let's uh, go up back up to 120. Okay, another spotlight uh, follow subject uh, tracking there. All right, now we've got the subject tracking turned off. Apparently, the uh, touchscreen's a little persnickety about uh, recognizing when your finger is on the target or not. Okay, let's try this car here. Okay, now we're tracking and following this white car. And it's pulling into a driveway, of course. I thought we were going to have it go all the way down to the end of the street, but no luck and it's now gone behind a car and a fence, so we will stop and cancel the subject. Boy, it doesn't like to have the subject canceled, does it? Okay, note to self, be careful when trying to cancel because you've really got to aim correctly on the dock on the dot. All right, well, we've tracked a few things, and uh, that all seems to work. So let's hit the return to home here and see what we get as far as accuracy on the landing. Should be on the second sidewalk block. And looks pretty damn close. We see our uh, virtual shadow on the ground there. And it's drifting into the center of the block. And that would seem to be perfect. Okay, back safely on the ground, and let's stop the 4K recording and stop the screen recording.